Hey everybody, Sean here, and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Mark Scott for sharing this. In today's video titled, Faith in Action to Maintain Deliverance, I hope to show those who follow Catherine Crick that she really doesn't understand scripture and that you shouldn't be following such a person. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Yes, the Bible does say that in James 2.26. For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. Meaning, faith without works is a dead faith because the lack of works reveals an unchanged life or a spiritually dead heart. And there's other verses that speak about this as well. Works don't save anybody because we are saved by grace through faith and not of works. But works will be a natural result from someone who has been reborn with the Holy Spirit. So let's continue to hear how Catherine applies this. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Receiving healing and deliverance isn't like, I'm going to receive th this surgery, this procedure, and that's that. I leave there and then I don't do anything. I'm just fixed. No, you have to play a part in this. You have to take action. You have to come with faith to receive your healing and your deliverance. That's on you. And this is the loophole faith healers, or I guess in Catherine's case, we now have faith deliverance. And if you don't have enough faith, you won't be healed or delivered, or keep those things either. But the Apostle Paul cast out the spirit of divination from that lady, and she didn't even ask for it. Never mind have the faith to make it happen. And Jesus healed the man at the pool of Bethesda when all that he did was grumble. He didn't even know who Jesus was. But like I said, it's a loophole to put the blame on people as to why they weren't healed or delivered. And this guilt trip totally messes with a person's belief. So that's on you. And when you leave this place. Sorry, but note that she's speaking to her congregation of believers. So she's saying that for saved believers to keep their deliverance from demons, they have to have faith or I guess they come back and the cycle continues. That's on you. And when you leave this place, you have to apply your faith. You have to keep walking in faith. Believe when the word of God, all these instructions the word of God is saying, the rhema word of God that I am releasing to you. The rhema word of God is an utterance from God. And we need to test these words when someone claims that for themselves. And in this case, false apostle Crick is not hearing from God because she's twisting scripture to make it mean what she wants it to. The rhema word of God that I am releasing to you, the present tense word of God, you have to have faith in it and apply it. Faith without works is dead. How she changes this passage to support keeping your healing or demonic deliverance is beyond me. So if you're not applying what you're receiving, this faith, Oh yes, I believe God can deliver. I believe in his word, but you have to apply his word or else the healing and deliverance will be dead. What absolute nonsense. So as a believer, if you got prayed over and healed, now it's up to you to keep that healing. What an unbiblical guilt trip. And yet they just cheer her on. Or else the healing and deliverance will be dead. Faith without works is dead. Faith in healing and deliverance and keeping your healing and deliverance and walking an abundant life. You need faith for this, an active faith, faith in action. Do what the word of God is saying. Do what I am telling you, these instructions from God that you're hearing. Do what she says, folks, because it's actually God speaking through her. No, it's not. Take it seriously. That's how you receive your healing and deliverance and keep it. But people coming here that are just wanting a quick fix, treating it like a hospital, dipping in, going out, not having the intention to come back, not having the intention to surrender their whole life to God. And remember, as we showed in a past video, her idea of submitting to God is going to her church and submitting to her apostolic authority. Leaving and, and looking like, well, did it work? Let's see if it worked now. They're not gonna keep what they received. So these born again Christians get demons cast out of them, but they don't keep those demons out because of their faith and they can come back again. This is a cultish guilt and fear preaching. They're not gonna keep what they've received. 
Many people have received deliverance, but they don't have faith in action, and so they're not keeping what they've received because they're treating it like a quick fix, not going in the spirit of how to receive it and maintain it. And if you believe any of that nonsense, then I feel sorry for you. Because remember what Matthew 12 says, when an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that man is worse than before. So in Catherine's church, if you don't keep your deliverance, first off, it's your fault because of your lack of faith. But secondly, according to scripture, that demon can bring back seven more spirits that are even more wicked. I mean, when does the cycle stop? The key to this passage is that when the demon arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put in order. That person's body is swept clean and in order, meaning there are no more demons. But it's also unoccupied. There's no demons, but also the Holy Spirit isn't there either, which is why it's so important a person gets saved after they are delivered. But the followers of these demon slayers are all supposedly saved already. This movement is one of the most wicked going on today. And people like Catherine Crick, Isaiah Saldivar, Mike Signorelli, Vlad Savchuk, and all the rest of them must be avoided at all costs. Please, watch the Deliverance and Casting Out Demons playlist here on Revealing Truth because there's over 166 videos that will help you realize the lies that they are teaching. We're gonna leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.